California's jobless rate in April soared past the Great Recession's peak to 15.5% as employers cut staffing to 2013 levels in the middle of a battle against coronavirus. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reported Friday, May 21 that last month's California joblessness was nearly triple much as 5.5%. Unemployment fell in every state as the pandemic's economic toll was widespread. During the Great Recession, unemployment statewide peaked at 12.3% in 2010. Monthly jobless data reflects surveys done in the first two weeks of a month, so May's jobless rate and job loss counts are expected to be worse. More than 4 million Californians have applied for traditional unemployment benefits since stay-at-home orders crimped business activity beginning two months ago. My trusty spreadsheet tells me that the unemployment for the other 49 states and the District of Columbia combined was 13.8% in April. California's jobless rate ranked no. 10 highest among the states. Tops was Nevada at 28.2%, then Michigan at 22.7%, and Hawaii at 22.3%. In February, California's unemployment rate was a record low 3.9%. It was 4.2% in April 2019. By this government job count, culled from a survey of households, the number of Californians officially unemployed in April was 2.89 million, up 1.83 million in a month, up 2.13 million over two months, and up 2.01 million in a year. The 280% two-month jump in the number of officially jobless Californians was no. 25 highest among the states. A survey of California employers showed bosses with 15.05 million workers last month, a seven-year low. That's down to 34 million from March, a loss of 2.56 million over two months, and off to 32 million in a year. This 14. 5% two-month drop in the statewide job count was the no. 16 highest among the states. Job losses during the pandemic wiped out 70% of the 3. 4 million California jobs created during the recovery from the Great Recession's 2010 bottom.